Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 12 of our API testing with REST Assured and Cucumber course. And in this video, I'll be talking about performing API authentication testing with bearer token using REST Assured. All right, so let's get started. So the scenario that we're going to write for this particular bearer token authentication is this. We are going to perform an authentication operation for the auth login that we saw in our previous video while we were discussing about the fake JSON server authentication mechanism. As we saw in our previous video, we need to pass the body with the email and password in here, something like this. And then we need to perform a get operation for the post to see if the post operation happens with this authentication token or otherwise called as the access token that it generates. We need to pass this as an header for the post and then we need to perform the operation. So it seems to be like a pretty much the same operation, just that this particular step that we have is a new one. And because this particular step is a new one, we also have added the header information in there so that we can perform the post operation here. So these are the two different implementations that happens in here. So the method that we are going to add is going to be something like this. As you can see for the get operation, with token is a new method that I have added where you need to pass the token so that we can add the token in the header information, something like a request.header of new header class where I'm passing the authorization and the value as bearer plus the token that we are passing in. So this is what is the whole idea of the header in here. So once we add the header, we can then perform the get operation. If the header is correct, then it's going to return you the response and then with that response, you can verify if the author name has Karthik KK in it. So that's the whole idea, guys. So this is what we're going to discuss in this whole video. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ IDE. All right. So this is the same project that we have been working so long in our course. And it's already 13 videos from this series. And we have been keep on discussing everything in this particular project. Right. And now that we are going to be discussing about creating a new scenario for get operation, almost like a get operation, because we are going to be performing the get operation here and then we're going to verify things. Right. So it's going to be pretty much the same thing, like how we are going to be dealing with. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to be writing a new scenario in here and then I'm going to be verifying that particular operation. So for doing that, I'm going to write a scenario, something like this. As you can see, it says verify get operation with a bearer authentication token. So if you could recollect from our previous video, as we saw in our previous video, we were trying to perform a get operation, something like this. And we also saw that without the authentication, something like this one, the email and password. So if you enter the password, something wrong. And if you send, it's going to show you a message saying incorrect email or password. So the password should be correct so that it generates an access token for you. And you can use this access token as an header for any one of the operation, something like this. I guess we have added the header here, like authorization and bearer and that the token that is generated. So we need to paste that over here so that we can see if we could able to get things right. So this is the whole idea and this is what exactly we'll be doing in here. So in order to implement this particular step definition, I'm just going to hit Alt Enter and then I'm going to be creating this particular step over here. So once again, in order to write the particular step definition, all we have to do is we are going to be passing an URL here and then we are going to be calling post operation with a body in here, right? So as you can see, so this is the body that we need to be passing in for our authentication. So it requires email and password. So as you can see, I'm just going to write a data table of table. And then we need to be doing this bar data is equal to table dot raw. And then we need to use the hash map and let's add the string body is equal to new hash map. And then I'm just going to be adding the body dot 
put and in the body we're going to be putting the email and the email is going to be coming from the data dot get of I guess it's one and then we'll be doing get of zero that's the first value and then we need to pass the password here so I'm just going to be putting password and this is one and finally we will be passing this body within our rest assured extension that we have already written which is nothing but the post ops with the body so this is the method that we already created in our previous video so I will be passing in here so as you can see these are pretty straightforward and simple that we have already discussed so I don't really have to worry about it here for this particular implementation at least and then it says given I perform the get operation for the post so if you see this implementation we have already did in our previous video but just that it doesn't really accepts a token here because we did not had a concept of token earlier so what happens is if we don't really have a token it is not going to be working this time so you should have a token for the get operations to work fine without any problem so if you don't believe me what I'm trying to say so once the post operation is done and if you try to perform a get operation here you will see the response is very very awkward so let's try to debug this particular scenario and you can see our JSON server is actually running in here so it performed the post and then it's coming in here and let's try to do an F8 and if you could see the response this time dot get body dot print you can see it says message as error in authentication authorization format so 401 which means we need to pass the authentication token or something that is generated using this particular guy and then we need to pass that as an input of it so for doing that I will be adding the response here and I will be using this particular response object as an input for the operation so since our get operation doesn't really accept the token in here now all we have to do is we need to write one more method here so it's going to be something like get ops with token and then we need to pass the token here so that I can perform the action so for adding the token all you have to do is call the request variable and there is something called as header and within this header there are two overloaded method you can either pass uh, and as you can see here you can either pass a string of objects of object or you can use the header class so I prefer the header class because it's very very simple you can still pass the name and value as a key value pair so I'm just going to be passing the authorization here and then I need to add the bearer so it's going to be bearer space and then I need to pass the token right so this is the format that I need to be passing in so that it start working without any problem so this method is now going to be something I should be using and then for the input for this one is the response dot get body dot JSON path dot get of the path so the path as you can see here for the authorization we got something called as access token so we should be using the access token in here so that we can get the token out of it and then I can use this response for verification of our rest of the operation right so I guess this is the only thing that we need to pass for performing the operation here so I can again debug it and I will show you quickly how it looks like all right and let's do once again and now if I see the response I should not theoretically at least get the uh, authentication error there you go you can see that this time we are getting a response of selenium with C sharp which is really really cool and now if I continue the execution the test should pass as you can see here the test got passed without any problem and I also could see the response which is really really good so our scenario this one is actually working fine without any problem so now if I try to execute it it is working that's really cool so if you give the wrong authentication here let's say for the haha one two three if you give something like haha one two three four five or something like that and if you try to execute this because the authentication is not correct it should fail 
but if it is passing then you don't really have to worry about it because this is a fake json server and since fake json server actually still works with the just the format as authentication or something like that and bearer it still works even there is nothing called session timeout or something like that it still keeps on working without any problem so this is how you can actually work with an authentication tokens and bearer tokens within your rest assured and rest assured is so much extendable that you can keep on extending the code in such a way that it keeps on working without any problem and again as i said before your imagination is the only limit where it's going to limit the tool but rest assured is something that you can keep on extending the way that you want and it is fully compatible with any type of rest api automation testing that you need to perform now next video we are going to be starting to refactor our rest assured extension because it's starting to seems like there are so many different methods available kind of redundant as well and we need to somehow refactor the code in such a way that it is going to start make more sense if we just have one single method going to perform various different operation or maybe some refactored way of handling different kinds of operation that we are doing in here so once again thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Thank you.